Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Let us continue bringing in more people so that we grow to a bigger family, always here to support Harry and Meghan and to defend them. And my people, I also told you that it's not only doing that. I am also here to expose the royal family because a lot of things are actually happening behind the scenes. So I am here with some news. I am here with some other things that we are yet to discuss. And again, my people, you know, I am always here to celebrate any other person coming in to stand for Harry and Meghan. These people are so great. These people are always doing the best. But the hate, my people, you know, you really understand that. So now, Samantha, actually, this is someone who was calling to a station. So during this conversation with James O'Brien, so there is this topic that came in and I would like you to listen to this so that you, we continue with this video. So listen to this. I'll put it here so that you can listen to what was actually being said. So there is the conversation between Samantha and James O'Brien. Wasn't it Prince Harry who had taken the, those very um, companies or, um, you know, media outlets to court and had won? He had essentially won, you know, these trials against them. So it's very, very ironic is now that his brother is speaking up and his brother now might get he might be getting a taste of his own medicine because um you know he was told be wary of um these outlets and so forth and the other by his own uh, brother prince harry uh, you know the documentary no, he, he, si he sided he sided with the newspapers against his brother i think that's a matter of record uh, but but, but yeah. out of a, out of an impulse for self protection that is pretty hard to to argue with so so that's really interesting the mail it's not the force it was and we probably talk about it too much on this program but that's yeah. why they have to put words into his mouth because they yeah, can't attack what he's not. said so they no. have to tell their readers that he hasn't actually said what he said he said something no. else so samantha says it's very ironical that prince william is exper experiencing backlash from right-wing media outlets for his calls to end fighting in gaza after her sided after he sided with these newspapers against his brother Harry. And for sure, it is so much ironical. I never expected the media to be calling out William at this particular point. You know, William has always been siding with the media against Prince Harry. Now the media is against him. From my previous video, my people, when I was talking of the Israelis reacting to Prince Harry's political intervention, you know, it is actually in line with this. Honestly, the media is actually the last thing I could expect to come here and expose William and to actually go against his will. But now, it is finally here. I have been praying for such things. I am so happy whenever I find people coming out, learning and allowing us to actually be free and to discuss things that are actually there, the facts. I really love when people actually go in line with facts, not always lying so that you get views, you know. But again, James O'Brien is someone that I would always appreciate him because as much as he is also in the media, you know, he is always standing by his own facts. And that is the best thing. So, Samantha was talking of the way William might be getting a taste of his own medicine. 
And that is what I have always been saying. I have told you, my people, that everything has time. Its own time will come. So William is actually in that situation. You can imagine what is happening in William's life right now. Beginning from the story of family, because I don't think William and Kate are actually good together right now. The same thing I told you, William and Charles, there must be something in between. And it's not that I am actually wishing for some other rift. It's only that I am saying what is clearly seen. There must be something between these people. William seems to fall out from this monarchy. Honestly speaking, the way I see things, I actually see some things not going well. So I really feel like William is actually going through such moments and he deserves this. So as I have said, the media are actually calling out Prince William, which is something least expected. I never expected such things, but finally it's here. And you know, it is well documented. Prince William leaked and planted stories and even backstabbed his younger brother Harry and even his wife Meghan Markle. So Prince William's staff were caught selling stories in exchange of money. And you know, there was this article, you know, I'll just mention a bit of this. It's Prince William's press secretary who was reportedly selling secrets to the tabloid about Meghan, Harry and their family and even their plans to move to Canada. So the mail was saying that they really have a source within the royal household who has given them evidences on Meghan's letter to her father. So you can imagine all those things that happened, everything. And you can imagine everything is generating from Prince William's office. Don't you think it's time for William to face it? I feel like now it's time. It's finally here. William is finally facing it as he planted. Everything will come by its own. As much as he has been talking of the way Harry is the one who made mistakes, you know, definitely William will never give up in this. He has never said that he is sorry because he was the one causing a lot of things, but he is always showing the way he can't give Harry a chance, the way he is so pure and he did nothing. But finally, he is facing it. I'm so happy for this, honestly. You can tell that. You know, everything will just come out clearly and we are also expecting something. Let me tell you, my people. Kate's situation is another thing that is coming up and honestly speaking, you will just see the way William will be finished by this. Expect anything, expect anything because I don't think Kate and William are still in the same household. Just by my own thoughts. I don't know what you think about it. And I want you people to comment down below on the same. Now tell me. What do you think William is facing right now? And tell me, why do you think he is going through such things? On the other hand, Harry and Meghan are making it. They are being celebrated. You can imagine the events that Harry and Meghan have. They are going so good. And William is actually failing so terribly in other hand. So basically that is it, my people. I want you to share your own opinions in the comment section. And up to this point, allow me to end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Remember to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. My people stay safe and stay tuned for our next one. Until next time, it is a goodbye.